How about a little taste down here? Your credit's been drunk up. at the bar. Is that your own out there? Turn around. I'm talking to you. I don't ask again. Hey, mister, wait up there. You sure are pretty good at killing. Not a talent I wish for. So where are you from? No place in particular. And where are you headed? Same place. And I really appreciate that drink. 
like to make it up to you. Maybe discuss a little business proposition with you. In case you didn't notice, I tend to attract trouble. Well, I noticed you get out of it pretty damn good, too. And them fellers, they, uh... Regulators. Guess you must have made somebody pretty important mad, huh? Half a million dollars. That's what I want to discuss with you. Chickens. I'll cook it on up for you. Make much. At least it keeps the rain out. Make yourself calm. Hell of jumpy, mister. Nope. Suspicious. So why are them regulators trying to kill you? Religious differences. Religious differences. I ain't never known a regulator had any damn religion. They ain't nothing but a rich man's hired law. I killed someone. Well, why don't that surprise me? Who? Kill us. Maybe I'll just strangle one of those chickens for the trail and go. Look, I don't mean to pry or nothing. It's just I wonder how a man gets such bad enemies and all. Never had any good ones. started right near the end of the war. Confederate captain by the name of McCluskey, four of his men, they disappeared with what was left a Confederate war chest, about a half a million dollars in gold. As the story goes, it disappeared into Mexico. About three months later, Captain all sick and feverish, shows up in Huntsville, Alabama, with a handful of pig-headed Confederate troops me being one of them was still fighting a war. Old Jefferson Davis had long given up on him. Shows up without the gold. But with a map. And you have this map? I got part of it. See, Captain McCluskey, he thought the South was gonna rise again. That half a million dollars would help with the rising. That much gold was a lot of temptation. So he split up the map into four pieces. Gave it to four different men and told each of us to meet him in Aberdeen three years later. He was dead inside of two days. Well, why didn't the four of you just put the pieces together there and then? Couldn't. Because we didn't know who each other was. As my luck would have it, two days after Lee's surrender, I took a bullet. I had to cut off my leg. So what happened in Aberdeen? All in bad. Dyko being me. That's the three of us, as it turns out. Never knew who the fourth man was. It seems he did some whiskey talking one night. A bunch of red legs, led by Colonel Skinner, takes him apart, gets the whole story. So old Skinner, he shows up in Aberdeen acting like he's one of us. But Colby recognized him, all hell broke loose. And Colby and Di? Well, last I heard, old Colby doing time in a prison down in Del Rio. 
dies somewhere out in New Mexico territory, nursing a dozen head of sick cattle. And still no one knows where this money is? No. Nope. Now Redleg's got a piece of that map, and he ain't gonna stop till he finds us all. Red legs and regulators. Only thing to come out of the war was new names for killers. Amen. So why are you telling me all this? Because I need a partner, that's why. If I hadn't lost my leg and I could still get around, I wouldn't need you now, would I? I think maybe you're confused about who I am. Well, you bought me a drink which is a hell of a lot more kindness than I've been showing in a long time. Besides, you can shoot. And I know if you decide you're gonna kill me for the gold, you ain't gonna make no botched job out of it. Leave me out there dying slow. I can't go to Salome, mister. And I can't stand the idea of Yankee vigilantes finding that gold. Why now? It's been sitting there a while, why the rush? Because I've seen one of them. One in Red Lakes. Where? Right here, about a week ago. I seen him, but he didn't see me. That's hope passing as fact. Well, I'm still here talking, ain't I? But time's running out. They're getting close. See that map? Four different holsters, four different men. You put them together, you got the map. And when you got the map, you got the go. Regulators. We were, we were figuring on, on burying them this evening. Not knowing who they were and all. Look, I, I, I don't know what happened firsthand. It was this gentleman, you know, raw bone. Dragging a pine coffin along with him. <laughs> Where is he now? Wagon and horse, maybe 10, 12 hours ago. They're not alone. Maybe 15 riders trailing them. Horseshoe markets say they're Union ponies. Five minutes. I won't wait. Yeah, where the hell do you think you're going? Huh? You don't even know where Kobe's jailed. In five minutes, I won't care.
Listen, I'm sorry about that picture. I didn't mean to pry. That your family? It's a real nice little family you got there. You don't like to talk much, do you? Nope. Is it me? It might get to be. Hey, when you're alone, you ever talk to yourself? Yep. And I have the good sense to know when to shut up. What do you talk about? No one else finds me this fascinating. Why you? Well, it ain't that you're so fascinating there, mister. It's just that you're the only one here. So what do you talk about? I pray, dear God, save me from one-legged blabbering drunks. <laughs> well, I reckon you should have prayed harder, huh? Ideas how to get in this place. You could start shooting at each other. Well, we come a visiting someone. Who? A man by the name of Jake Colby. You can? We can be if it'll help. Just this once. Meaning? Well, it's my last meal. And you two are my first and last visitors. Being that this is my last night on Earth. Who the hell are you? The man that gave you your last smoke. Come thinking we could break you out. <laughs> the only way out is the way I'm going tomorrow. You got a life of this thing? So where's the holster? That piece of information dies with me. Why? Ain't doing you no damn good. Never has, but I don't see facing a firing squad is getting any comfort knowing that someone else, even you, Dooley, is gonna enjoy that gold. Well, what about promise not to enjoy? You might succumb to the temptation. You're a nasty, no good son of a bitch, you know that Colby. Well, that's why tomorrow they're gonna be marching me out in that courtyard and tying me to that post and shoot me. beyond justice. We better forget justice and pay them what they want. I come from the village of Quello. Here too, these federales have taken all we have. They barely left us our sweat. More is what they want. Always more. See, to give in accomplishes 
nothing. Christian spirit in your stir, Padre. <laughs> we are your protectors, yet you plot against us. You send writers out for help against us. You bring us back that man. <laughs> Some lessons are hard won, Padre. You take what little we have. You bleed every village in this valley. When there is no more blood, you bury it. You're an insightful man, Padre. <laughs> Donation to your church, Padre. <laughs> there have been for years stories of gold coins that grow in the valley's dust. Gold buried by the desperate forces of the Civil War of the United States. I, of course, do not believe such stories. But I believe in that. That's all you believe in. Have you found this treasure, Padre? And live like this? You're a cautious man. Do you know who has? No. And I have no more to say to you. <laughs> you have much to say if I find you have lied. <laughs> what happened to turn the other cheek, Padre? <laughs> I grew tired of bloody cheeks. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for what I failed to do. Help us. Send someone. Someone who has the courage I like. Send someone to kill this man.
Really, Colonel Skinner? We'd have them all in about 10 minutes. And then we wouldn't have all four holsters, would we, Tony? No, sir, but... They're on a downhill road to hell. We're gonna be there to greet them. Hell! It's time. What? What's the gun for? Yeah, helps to cut out the small talk. Damn gun play. Look, we didn't come hurt you, Jacob. Not yet, anyway. After all I've been through, you think a gun's gonna scare me? Well, it don't, and you don't. And you can't make me talk. Can make you wish you had. Damn it, Colby. We didn't break you out of jail because we was lonesome. And I didn't ask you to break me out. Which is why it was such a nice gesture on our part. I suggest you tell us. Patience ain't exactly his strong suit. What is? Shooting people and making them impatient. This whole damn thing is crazy. Best chance we got to find that goal is we all stick together. Plenty to go around. Yeah, what's my share? Bullet in the back. Guess prison makes a man cynical, huh? I guess time's made you too dumb to be cynical. Gentlemen, we're getting to the impatient part. Well, I ain't just giving it up. You better tell us. Well, I sure wish I knew where it was. But I lost it in the poker game. I lost the holster, I lost the gun, I lost the money. Where'd you lose it at? No. Sterling. Man named uh, some gambler, huh? Does he know what he has? Well, I was drunk. I did do some talking. I didn't tell you, Colby. Did you tell him or not? What's the matter? He only has that one piece of chance. Sorry, he doesn't believe me. What now? I told you all I had to tell. What the hell are you doing this for? I don't have to sleep with my eyes open. Don't look at me. It's your own damn fault. That's him, eh? Got some of that uh, colds coming on. I can't drink it with my, my hands tied. You know what's happening here is wrong. I mean, we fought the same enemies, believed in the same things. Now, I'm the one that's tied up, and he's the one that's gonna go off and get our map. I didn't realize it was our map. I thought we was caretakers for it. Well, it's too late for the South to rise again, do we? The same man knows that, and I figure you're still clinging to a taste of sanity. And that cowboy's gonna take off with our holsters or end up dead. I know the sake. Well, I've seen this cowboy shoot. 
Man's got an ungodly talent for violence. And Akers owns the town. Sometimes it just comes down to numbers. A man for man, we shot better than them northern boys. They just kept coming. More bodies than we had led. The least we can do is even up the odds for a cowboy. What's happened to you, Dooley? Was the time you'd wipe up the floor with a room full of acres? The old times change. Got nothing to do with time. You just gave up on being a hero. Like you could use some company. You're not real good at reading people. Yeah, and you're not real friendly. You getting better? That holster there, where'd you get it? My boss has one just like that. You might be interested in buying yours. I'm not interested in selling. Really? Well, my advice is you speak with him first. Doesn't sound like advice, sounds like a warning. Either way, he's waiting upstairs. And don't worry about your drink. I'll make sure it don't go to waste. Now the holster.
I feel any closer to it. That's south of the river. Looks like Mexico. <sighs> Better find die. You got that tie me up look, cowboy. Ain't fair. Did help. All right. Just so you remember, you ain't fast enough and you ain't smart enough. For what? For anything. Yes. been here. One man, hard eyes. You know him? Of him. Never met. Pretty you don't. He's done fast with the gun. It's always someone faster. He's the one. What one? The one who's always faster. He'll have his chance to prove it. Where's he headed from here? I wasn't inclined to ask. What's he done? He killed the wrong man's son. That way the others come through looking for him? Others? Brett Lax, hour later. They rode in, took a look, showed no surprise, rode out. That's who we've been seeing on their tail. The old red legs are one with him. Man has a talent for making enemies. He took something of mine, and I'll like it back. A pair of matching leather holsters. Thousand dollars reward for their return. <whistles> Sentimental value. Must have been your mom's. Well, not interested. Whose son he killed who saw them important? Mine. Pushing. These horses are going to drop. We don't gain ground on them. We're going to lose them to the Red Lakes. Yeah, well, dead is dead. I don't want them dead. I want to kill them. That's way of life these people got out here. <sighs> Fighting this land, there's no future in it. What the hell would you know about a future? <sighs> Nothing. But I know enough about not having one. Find out anything? They'll trade a hot meal for a little help. About die, you mean? Yep. sentimental stuff out of the way. Ever see a body close up after it's been, uh, you know? Nope. Me neither, but no matter how I think about it, it don't come out pretty. That's why you're gonna dig. Oh, he's 
right. Can't say it looks any worse for being dead. There it is. Riding right on his hip. At least I think that's his hip. You were right. What kind of an idiot thing are you doing now, Colby? You just play me odd, Dewey. Skinner is a piece of this map, and I don't see us getting it no matter how good that cowboy is with a gun. So maybe I sell him these pieces, or maybe I sell him back to Acres. Either way, we ain't getting any closer, and even if we did, I can see in the cowboy's eyes he's saving a piece of lead for me. Ain't that right, cowboy? It is now. You're a damn fool, you know that, Colby? <laughs> Reckon we ought to bury him. You, uh, find the head, I'll bury the rest of them. Colby, he was once a friend. And once he wasn't. This is wrong, this has been like this. I mean, it's not like I ain't ever killed anybody before. You want absolution? Try church, not me. You know something? You're a hell of a shot, cowboy. But in the human being department, you barely meet basic requirements. How come you didn't draw down on Colby when you had a chance? You seem to have things pretty well in hand. Oh, I got me a craving for a drink. Maybe even a little something to eat. I promise.
honestly think shooting me is going to improve your situation? You looking for me, Skinner? No! I found you, one-legged son of a bitch! My arm is going numb. You drop me, you lose the holster. I'll be pulling this trigger all the whole way down. Yeah, well, not if I pull first. Somebody better shoot somebody. See this here rope? Start off to that coach. Now, you act reasonable, I'll put your butt up. You know, you can shoot me and take the map. Not likely. You throw that rope down here. Your choice. Gun, holster, rope. I choose letting go before my arm ends up down there with Skinner. <laughs> The hell, Dooley? That rope wasn't tied off. I could have grabbed hold of it and been down there with him. You seem to have things well in hand. No Magellan, either. That's definitely an X. Well, whatever it is, it's between these two right here. I'm gonna get some sleep on the bush. I don't think so. Why? We ain't got any red legs on her tail. I heard him scream. I didn't see him die. church shouldn't be there. Maybe this is the wrong town. I think it's the only town. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna put me and these horses to sleep. Yeah! What are we to do with such rubble? You could feed them. Why are you here? Not sure where here is. Pedrasa. And I'm a tourist. The only tourists who come here usually have a prize on their hands. They sound like people to avoid. Hmm. For the children. You don't mind, do you? You should let me kill him. I will. I will. After we learn why he's here.
come to welcome you. Welcome. And to thank you for helping those children, the boy and the girl. In truth, I'm surprised the captain did not. Shoot me? There can be only one reason. That being? The reason for you being here. What reason is that? This village has been unlucky. There's nothing that rides in here that isn't bad news or trouble. And no one ever rides out leaving behind something good. Look around you. You are a dog waiting to be kicked. People long ago forgot what this town started out to be. If you've explained why you think I'm here, I'm afraid I missed it. You will change all this. Perhaps you do not yet know this yourself. Sometimes it's how it happens. There you can find a bed, a bath, and food that will not kill you. When you wish to talk to me, I'll be waiting. The man we've been waiting for, praying for. Seguro? Did you see what he did for the chief? He's the man. Without, two for about with. With what? With whatever it is you like to get besides clean. It's been too long between baths for me to remember. Well, you sure as hell look like you could use one. I recommend you take the two peso deal. She's mighty friendly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk. Now. Vamos. I see the wig on. Well, you just put a damper on one hell of a romantic moment. Yeah, well, here's another damper. Padre knows why we're here. Why? Well, no, it shouldn't be a surprise. You could have a fiesta with all the people that seem to know. Did you find out what that church is doing on our ex? Didn't ask. Padre was too damn happy to see me. Makes me nervous. No one's ever been happy to see me. Steps. You see anything else that looks more promising? Should be right here. Sorry to disturb your prayer. I've just come to lock up. But I know well. Bother, Padre. We all prayed out anyways.
four years for this. I don't know why a piece of tail is so damn important. It's a matter of arithmetic. Been five years since I had any. There was a reason not to kill him. And what then? No more reason.
They were here. The place they've just left is about as close as we seem to get. You're lost? Looking for someone. <laughs> Perhaps. Two other Americans? You've seen them. What do you and your friends want? That's none of your business. There are five of us against two of you. We can make it our business. Actually, five to one. Keep this a fair fight. Help out your men. You have a short fuse, my friend. No fuse. And we're not friends. I'll let him go. You gotta tell me what you're doing here, or I kill him. You kill him, you die too. You're not immune. Just tell me about these other Americans, and you can walk away from this. I don't have to tell you nothing. If you listen very carefully, you'll understand why you do. I'm sorry. I can't ask you to do this. It's not bloodshed, and it's it's only money. When you found the money, why'd you leave it there? Because it didn't belong to us. But as time went by, well, little by little, I would give some out. Coin here and there to help. And then you found out people have big mouths. Same place, I'll tell you. Sounds dangerous. You better tend to her. My wife and child. pieces of land owned by a fellow named Rieger. When he couldn't buy it, his son figured to impress him. Rode out with some regulators and three coffins. Said, get off the land or get in the coffins. When the shooting stopped, my wife and daughter were dead. And I'd killed Rieger's son. That's how this whole thing started. Understand. You ain't exactly the kind of man to walk across the road to board a fight. So why haven't I ended it? He didn't kill him. He sure as hell trying to kill you. I guess I can't blame him. <laughs> you better 
go before she uh, finds herself another Magnifico. Thanks for going in to get his gold. Well, it ain't exactly his gold now, is it? We've been through some pretty hard times to get here. Some men have come looking for you. They're hurting for Ramon. Where's the cowboy? <clears throat> this man is not worth protecting, Padre. I don't know the man you are looking for. The gold has already been taken. Fool. Federalis took it. You don't scare me. That's very brave, Padre. Because sometimes I even scare myself. You're backing the wrong man. Give me the cowboy. I'll get you back your gold. Do you care for them, Padre? You will tell them. Tell them they're making a mistake. Someone has led you very far astray.
of violence can achieve. It's already been achieved here. Whatever it can take, it's already taken. Making place. Hey, just out of curiosity, Audrey, how much gold did you lose? I think of it as how much we have. We didn't come here planning on getting that money from you. I know. It was God's intention, and you waited in you to listen. You overestimate me, Padre. Oh, no. You underestimate yourself. There. Now everyone has a bit of what they want. It has been returned to safekeeping. You never did give a damn about the gold, did you? You're just killing time. It's gonna seem kind of dumb to you. I think I'm gonna stay here. The longer I live, the more I have to reconsider what I think is dumb. Well, at least all that gold's gonna do some good now. Once you stick around, ain't nobody chasing you. Sooner or later, I'd bring a visit from trouble. But you stay on. Yeah, well, I want you to know, you always got a place to come back to. Thanks, Dooley. Damn. Forgot my gold. I'm going now. I think I'll leave you here. Better, safer place than wherever I'm going. I'll think of you every day. And I hope that from time to time you'll think of me. Come back. 